Srinagar is the starting point for the next part of my investigation, to understand who Muslims believe the real Jesus was. It is also the setting for one of the most extraordinary stories concerning Jesus I have ever come across. All Christians like me are taught from a very early age that Jesus spent his entire life in the Middle East and that he was crucified and died in Jerusalem. But here in Kashmir, there is a totally different story, one that claims that Jesus did not die on the cross, but escaped to India, where he continued his teaching, got married, had a son, and lived to a ripe old age, and even that he was buried here. I have come to meet a man who has spent the last 40 years investigating this ancient tradition. Uh, when you study the Gospels and you come to the information where it is said that uh, Jesus was lost to his parents at the age of 12 and he came back at the age of 28 or 30 mm. to Jerusalem and then he, his ministry was for two years, and after that there was crucifixion. So there is, the first thing is that there is a gap mm. of so many years in the life of Jesus. The second point is that when he was crucified, his legs were not broken, and he was brought down from the cross and put a specially made uh, um, sacrifice. And then next day they say, he is no more there. He is lost to them. So there are two incidents. He is lost as a young man, and he is lost to the people uh, after crucifixion. So I began thinking on it, that he is lost twice, and we have to find him. Professor Fida Husnain is a Sufi part of a mystic tradition within Islam that has a particular reference for Jesus. Over the last 40 years, he has collected copies of many ancient Indian and Tibetan documents that he claims